you hear it now, and we and I'm getting a little, a little ahead of myself. But you hear when pimp go on the radio, you heard about the. Well, you, you say, man, I'm from Texas, man. I'm, them prices that them boys talking about, man, them boys ain't got no prices like that, no Atlanta. No, I don't blame you. Were locked up. I don't blame you. But you heard it though. I heard it, and I, and, I, and, I, and, and, and had he not had, I would have agreed with pimp had you know I not known no. him otherwise. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. And go. in the hood, a brick is, is, is a hustler's dream. That's mm -hmm. what it was. To come up on a kilo. Low cap. A, a kilo. brick is a hustler. Yeah, because, you know, and, and, and we gonna get into it a How little bit. How much money is a brick? Well, you know, my, 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 the guy who I, the greatest rapper, uh, musician of all time, Pimp C, said they wasn't getting them for 17 down now, but it was some people saying 17 on these records. And uh, so, you know. <laughs> So that I mean, but shout in out, Texas, shout out to Pimp C. Love, I love it. R.I.P. to Pimp. Man, I love Pimp. He, he, he was wrong with that. Oh wait a minute! No, I'm not. I'm not. You're not gonna come in here. Let me tell you something. You're not gonna come in here. Say, okay, man, I'm from Texas, man. I'm, them prices that them boys talking about, man, them boys ain't got no prices like that, no Atlanta. Uh, don't you ever in your life? Don't you ever in your life? I don't understand. I want to hear it. The numbers, the numbers that they was quoting on record at that time. You know, you were gone. Yeah, the numbers they was quoting on them records at that time, it was unheard of. It was too high. No, no it was too it was low. Too low. low. And then we in Texas, y'all down in Atlanta. And I was around though, in. You gotta think though, when when the BMF era came, like those Mexicans, that was the Atlanta is a drug hub. Mm -hmm. And they was getting that work over there to Atlanta, like the cartel was coming, like they was bypassing Texas. These particular cartels, it really? was going straight. No, to no, that. no, 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 no. Wait Houston, a minute, Texas the, the ones you talking about? Yeah, the ones I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, because we got. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. No, we getting everything. Texas, no, 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 stop. Right don't don't play like that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. What I'm saying? I'm what I'm saying? Girl getting it. Hold on. What I'm trying to say is that <laughs> the people, the people that they were dealing with, right. were bypassing was Texas. bypassing Texas. Well, you know, they probably had to stop in Texas, get across the border, and then come on through. You know what I'm saying? But they was they main thing was pushing it to the hub of Atlanta. Exactly. And so when they got in Atlanta, it wasn't really no middlemans involved. So that's why Meech and them had them things going for 17 5 for real. So where were you, mm. where, okay, where were you, you were locked up during I this had time. Just went to, yeah, I was in but prison. But you knew the prices. They wasn't like that when I was on the street. But they I, were high. They were high, they was 24. They were 24, that's right. what I just want you yeah. to say. That's that. what I was trying to figure out. But then when, but when you left, you could believe that I know that to be true because I'm in communication with a lot of okay, the guys okay, that are doing okay. their thing. And you, you hear, you hear it now, and we, and I'm getting a little, a little ahead of myself. But you hear when Pimp go on the radio, you heard about the. Well, you, you say, man, I'm from Texas, man. I'm, them prices that them boys talking about, man, them boys ain't got no prices like that, no Atlanta. No, I don't blame you. Were locked up. I don't blame you. But you heard it though. I heard it, and I, and, I, and, I, and, and, and had he not, had I would have agreed with Pimp had you know I not known. No. Him. Otherwise, okay. but I'm, in, I'm on the inside, so I know what's really going so on. So they got a crazy deal that n was unheard of. These brothers getting 2,000 kilos at one time. Of course. These people got a, a main pipe coming straight to them. So it's a difference. But the thing is, I understand what and people say. Big Meech ain't Jeezy. But what I'm saying. You heard what I just said. I'm not saying, but what I'm trying to get you to see is that. The prices were that number. That's how much he was giving them to his people for. Oh, that's hard. Mm -hmm. That's hard. If so that's I don't, true. So if, if you wasn't out here, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be real but with I, you. But I get you. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not me personally. I'm not gonna speak on. Yeah, because you don't know that I, that, that, that I don't know for, for sure. Right, exactly. Because, like I say, I wasn't there. That's all. I never had a brick for seventeen five. There you go. However, nowadays they even cheaper. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> today, today, you know, I don't, today I don't, price I don't, I don't, deal, in, yeah, I don't deal in, I don't deal in drugs or anything of that, of that nature. You know, nowadays. However, I got a car the other day. Somebody talking about, man, these motherfuckers. Stop, man. Yeah, I said, no, what? man. Let never, it go, I man. Said, I never heard prices like nah, that. No, because you know what, man, it's different. I, I probably stepped on. This ain't like it used to be, bro. This day and age, you the, were going so seventeen prices years. Going down. The prices, no, the price ain't going. The, the quality definitely going listen, down. And during COVID, the prices were fifty two, seventy, and some prices. I mean, some places, motherfucking sixty bands. You know what I'm saying? The call I got the other day, I got to put my shades. <laughs> <laughs> 
say it's going down, right? But yeah. that's the devil. That's the devil. They're trying to get trying you to, temptation. Trying to, they're trying to get me back. We're not going. And I ain't going. No, we're not you know going. Saying? Because, because life is too good, man. We're not doing too, that no more. Say, and you know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest with you, it's too many hustles. I mean, there's too many opportunities out yeah. here. Legal well, brother, hustles. Legal hustles. They're giving it away. Legal, legal boss lady. hustles. It's too many legal hustles out here, you know what I'm saying, for a nigga to be going back selling crack and coke and right. shit like that. Yeah, and, and I mean, I'm sure it's good money in it. I would I know. Would I would it. smoking crack. People, people say that's what? not in style no more. You them, break down a kilo in, right now, nigga, that shit gonna be The nigga, only thing you hear about me. right now is Damn. fentanyl. Fentanyl is what everybody be talking about right yeah, now. Yeah, fentanyl. She's killing people, man. Fentanyl has t- taken over for the younger generation. But you got the 80 babies and the 70 babies. They still like smoking crack. They want rocks in their system, man. They want to smoke a rock. Well, let me pull you back can in. People, can, I, people, I pull can, them people, back can people in. actually recover from that stuff and not want it no more? Oh, you had, you had some people that stopped. Uh, it, there's been cases, it's but very not hard, very, very few, but it's been cases. It's very hard but it's been cases. not to relapse, man. Like crack. It's been cases. I know some niggas, no, they saying, never go back. I seen some niggas that was smoking rocks. And became kingpin. They never went back. That's right. But I'm saying it's very, very hard. Thin, yeah. When you get that, that that monkey on your back, when you when you go to you know experiment with that cocaine and that crack, it's hard to get off that shit. Okay, let me, let me, I'm gonna pull you out of there, cause boy, I can talk about that all day. Me That's too. I'll be sitting right me there too. on it. You me know. Too. But but <laughs> but too. I want to ask you like like after you 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 get locked up, what's the first song that hit for Jeezy that you heard? That you you heard that you was like, damn, they own. You know what I'm saying? Like, what was that first song? Okay, this is what I do, right? Because I got nothing res- but respect for, for for you and Boss Lady. For sure. I, I don't want to really talk much about the homie because I, you know, I got nothing but love for him. Yeah. I want to focus more on, on you, on yeah. me, because you know he didn't did his thing. He didn't made his legacy. Correct. For sure. That's time for, sure. for me to, to do to your let people know who I am, my story. And so, you know, I can create my own legacy. No, no, you already doing that. You know that. what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so yeah, the first song that I heard that 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 the homie had dropped was um We Getting Money Over Here. Okay. For okay. the dude pimping, you know what I'm saying? When I, I heard that, that song on the radio. Shorty Red. Was Shorty Red rocking? It was him and Bum B. It was him and Bum B. That's yeah, my boy yeah, right there. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, shout out to Bum B. Bum yeah. B a real one, man. A real one, yeah. So that's the first record that I heard that he had on the radio and I was in in the penitentiary in Florida. And I knew, you know, it had it had a different dimension to it because I'm listening to this shit. I'm in Pensacola, Florida. I'm in Santa Rosa State Penitentiary, you know what I'm saying? On CM. So me being that I heard it away from Georgia, I knew, you know, this shit had to have some type of rain to big. it. And it made me very excited for him. And um I was very, very enthused. I was inspired by hearing that. And it made me feel like the thirty five years I had caught in the penitentiary wow. wasn't so bad. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.